Hello YouTubers, this is Indian Hell Rider. Well, this is the second review of my motorcycle, which I'll be doing. Uh, I'll be discussing a few things which has been uh, made changes by the Royal Enfield to make sure that I uh, enjoy my ride on my bike. Starting out, first of all, let me just go down. This is the chain. Well, this chain has been cleaned out by me uh, using a loop and uh, with that I've also cleaned it out with the cleaner so you can see that this is pretty much clean and neat the parts which has been changed out by the infield is this uh, gear shift lever which has been changed because it was rusted from this end and now once it has been changed I can see there is a difference in the uh, gear shifting and indication of the gears is correct according to that with that there is a rust on this part as you can see let me just zoom in yeah i guess you can see now that there is rust on this part also yeah you can zoom in those are the parts that need to be changed out and i can see that it has been broken out it's quite a major issue now as you can see Part over here, here that is not rusted, but the part over here is rusted. With that, um, with this, the other thing which has been changed is the exhaust, as it was getting rusted from this end and that end. Letting them to change out that rusted part. Also, I noticed was the plastic over there there was a crack from this side so they have replaced this plastic panel and it is all new also the grab rail is in order right now hopefully that will be coming soon they've also changed this uh, handle T starting from this the bottom one over there they have already replaced everything this one if you can see that this is the one I'm talking about they have replaced that with that uh, voice is audible clearly it has been replaced but still it is noisy and uh, the mirror was already been changed but as you can see there is a problem with this height I'll be complaining them also the key chain set the key set has been changed on the entire bike because this portion was the faulty one and because of this I was facing issues like uh, the bike was getting stalled and it, it stopped twice for me and luckily I did not met up any kind of uh, accident that was my luck <sighs> moving on uh, to this portion the carburetor you can see uh, this is the TPS throttle positioning system which is integrated with the carburetor well the carburetor was a defected earlier on so they have changed the carburetor and now this is running on the new carburetor you can see there is a, a lot of oil leakage from the pipes the pipes are already in order now these pipes need to be changed and uh, hopefully I'll be getting them soon and I can see there is a hell lot of oil deposit over there which also need to be changed out and replaced out mm, apart from this what else has been changed let me just remember out quickly they've already changed those parts which I've already talked to you about the indicators last time I told you about the indicator problem this has been you know replaced by them They've also replaced the toolkit. I'll show you that quickly. Toolkit for me, and there is the issue is this one. You can see this is getting rusted out, and the key set, which is also in order now the bolts are uh, rusted out so that will also be changed in the next set so these are the next target for royal enfield to 
can get me apart from that the battery sets are already pretty much rusty uh, there is one more part which is inside the tank this part has been changed out as this was the uh, set of key and needed to be changed because the part of that was uh, to be changed and there is a kind of like a, 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 a electronic part which is beneath this has been changed that is called as uh, uh, the charger kind of thing and uh, also uh, they have replaced the front disc again because it was again getting rusted out this is the all new disc which they have put on so I guess uh, that covers up this part of the portion uh, I have done few of the outrights yes there is one more thing this headlight set the headlight set has been changed out entirely because it was getting rusted out I'll be sharing you out the pictures of the rusted part you will be able to clearly see why this has been done both the electronic this and this has been changed uh, there was some problem and issues because I was uh, you know uh, having issues with the horn sometime honking and sometime not and even this light and this light this was not even working properly so that is why they changed both the sets this right and left both uh, with that uh, yeah, it covers up pretty much everything regarding the bike. So this is Indian Hell Rider signing off, saying you guys keep riding, ride safe, and any questions, throw it up to me. I'll be happy to help you out, guys. Thank you very much for watching out the video, and enjoy. Thanks, bye-bye.